Everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by the Hunt for Quick Sell Gear. The Hunt for Quick Sell Gear, always ongoing. All right, well, that's two brutal episodes back to back. Let's see what we can get if we can uh, uh, swing things for the better in this one. We've got the third lance coming into play now. We've got pretty good loadouts on them. This one is this one just actually just popped up, I think. Blake's manufacturing facility. Three skulls. Cover for military personnel and units. Our efforts to resolve these domestic channels has been rebuffed, so now we're turning to a military solution. Facility must be destroyed. Okay, so before we go, uh, let's go to the mech bay, because what I want to do is a couple of things. We want to bring um, the Afrit on this one, I think. Because we want to make we want to make sea bills, so that is the goal. And where are you down here, forty tonner? Right there. Let's get you readied. Gonna go for firepower. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. And I'm gonna bring the ferret forward. Even though I said I wasn't gonna. That mech you wanted is back online. Thanks, buddy. We got work to do today. We're going to go and do that right now. Let's go to the vehicle base here real quick first. So we got the Efreet, we got the Ferret, which will probably... Oh man, we're running so low on vehicles. Uh, the Chaparral will stay out of this one. The Chariot will stay out of this one. We are going to bring in the Heavy Boys for this one. I don't want to just do this for now. All right, let's go and do this. Um, command Center... Not going to shy away from a relatively tough one. We're going to go against the uh, the base here. Destroying the base in the jungle. Hopefully they only have one lance. And the base defense. Might not be that way, but let's just see if that's how it turns out. Uh, how do I want to do this? 418 for money. A little bit of money. Now let's go salvage. Hopefully there's some vehicles and stuff we can pick up when we're down there. All right, let's uh, load a fractured land C. And then we'll move some stuff around here. Yeah, I know. All right, so the Stormcrow is going in slot four. Yeah, I know. Quakey Boy is going here. Do I want... You're seven... But you have the option for more evasion. Let's go with the slightly better gunnery, I think. Uh, Metal can come out of there. So we want to bring in um, our new pilots, C3 Kodiak, and oop, not you, because you can't do a damn thing at the moment. We'll bring in uh, Red Flag. Now I'm putting Red Flag onto the Stormcrow, because Stormcrow's got good targeting. We can keep him back and firing. Crusader's coming in on here. It's got more recoil than anything else. And then we're bringing the Assassin down. I'm going to give it to Lifeboat. Um, wait, what? Oh, shit. Does this cockpit... Um... Oh, that I did not think about. That I did not think about. I don't think I got a pilot capable of piloting the uh, assassin. So you have cockpit interface, but doesn't this turn on and off? That can't come out of there though, can it? I mean, it doesn't matter. We're stuck with what we have right now to go. Yeah, no, it's fixed. So I need a pilot with neural interface to be able to pilot that. Uh, question then. Do those pilots exist in the stores? Or the... Uh, 
hiring hall? That's a good question because I don't think I've ever seen that on a pilot before. And I don't think either of these guys has it. No. Nope. And now I know you don't. Moxie doesn't either, I don't think. Ex military officer, criminal. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that. So that assassin might be a completely useless mech. Uh, that's interesting. After I, well, I didn't really spend a lot of money on that one. So let's see here. Mech pilot. No, you don't have it. As much as this pilot's kind of nice, I have to like spend 500,000 to restart respect them I should probably hire them anyway new mech warriors available trapper yeah no I don't see it and I don't think via well vehicle pilots might still have it because I don't think it uh, weighs it out yeah I don't know man shit that's really sucks all right, well, that changes the mission then for today. Shoot. Always good to see you in Ops, Commander. All right, well, let's do something else then. we got to make sea bills, so let's go for the sea bills. This one's here. 315. Go 312 million. That's fine. I think we should be able to do a two and a half skull with three mechs. Fingers crossed. Three mechs and some good vehicles. All right, let's load again. Uh, Lance C, apply. Yep, I know. All right, so metal can come out of there. Leaving the three vehicle pilots in. We're going to bring in our C3 pilot. Kodiak, you can stay on the whacker because you got recoil reduction here. Um... Crusader is going to go here, and the Stormcrow is going to go here. And then we will run Hmm, let me think about this. You know what? Forget it. We're going sea bills. Let's just go sea bills. I don't care who's taking what at this point. Um, two and a half V, two and a half I think we plenty I think we're gonna outgun them without too much of a problem. We'll see what they drop, but let's go. Alright, here we go. I hate this planet, but let's just do this. Alright. They're gonna have turrets, but hopefully we can shred them from range. We do have good range. Now, I think So that's wait, what's what here? Where am I positioned? Um, so they're over there. I think generally you start here. You kind of go up the cliffs. Uh, it looks like they got reinforcements too. Generally reinforcements show up from over here. So I have to decide now. My vehicles are going to be... Well, my ferret will be screwed if I set up over here. This lance is mostly ranged. I'm going to go for... God, this thing is so chonky for some reason. Um, this map has always got low uh, playability for me. I'm going to go here. Start on the other end of this uh, pit. See what happens. Hopefully the Duke can get some speed up and get moving around in here, as well as the Efreet maybe maneuvering this way. We got range with the Crusader and the uh, Stormcrow. Oh, so they do have reinforcements down here. Ostrock, Kobolds, of course. Ghost, alright. Cavalry, LRM. At least I got the plasma cannons to deal with those fucking kobolds. What else do we got over here? 
whatever that is, Skorak, whatever. Hopefully it's vehicles. Skork Assault. Okay, it's not indirect. Another yellow jacket. 58. Isn't that one we just faced? Alright. Um, the last episode, I mean. Let's get some speed up, if we can get some speed going here. Let's do that. Get down here. Hi, Skipper. Full speed. No target. So that's a cliff. Right, so we're up the cliff here. So we gotta get down and around. Hey. Hey. Not in a rush. Just walk forward. There. Okay. Not in a rush. Take an AC five shot in this guy. You stayed though. Bad luck. Yeah. Ready for I just say bad targeting, but you can say bad luck if you want to. That's pretty good. Moving out. God, the storm crow. It takes a beating every match because the enemy just loves to target this thing, but it's just really made for like shredding people at a distance. He says, and then la only lands one shot. <laughs> it's made for tickling people at a distance. Ready for orders. Tandem? And what else do we have here? Just tandem. That's particularly nasty. What else do we have down below? AMS flares, jet booster. Is I gotta keep that in mind. Quad missiles. So let's just move over here. Keep these AMSs where our guys are. I think we're going to hold off for this turn. I mean, we got, like, lots of ammo for the tandems, but they jam, right? So I want to wait till we're in a good position to hammer them. With everything as opposed to being jammed. Ready for orders. Ferret. Yeah, you just don't like trees. Heads up, Commander. Got hostile contacts inbound. Really? I don't see anybody. Who? What are you talking about? Commander? I don't see anybody. Just walk it. Crusader. We got two ballistic. Okay, it's interesting. It could be AC-20s. I don't know how much this thing weighs. 500 bit armor. Griffin. Man, the AC-2s can just shoot so far. But, uh... I want to be able to maneuver down here, so fuck this battle armor. Burn them! Burn them! Burn them all! Killed one of them already. Fuck this pirate plasma cannon. I tried to get two of them on here, but it just it's just not feasible. Although now that I think about it, that black knight could run two pirate plasma cannons with no problem. Hmm, the quick cell black knight I'm talking about. That thing could easily run the two of them. Garbage. Garbage. You are the new pilot, though, so... Let's just sprint it over here. Get some evasion. We'll take a shot at the ghost, I think. I think we're gonna leave these guys to the, uh... Crusader. We'll take a pot shot at this guy, though. It might, hurt. It might if it hits. Well, you are a newbie. Giving you the bushwhacker to start out is kind of brutal. Yeah, you know, I wish... I like the idea of the vehicle bays. 
But I like the idea of like, at some point, like having a base of operations where you have all your mechs stored, and then you take X number of them out to jump to another planet to actually attack. So if you wanted to like, you know, run, you know, a bunch of like light mechs and stuff, you could actually go ahead and do that by just bringing, just bringing the light mechs on, on you on the drop, like with the dropship and the uh, Argo, right? So you'd have your base full of light mechs and you'd go and do like light missions on a planet somewhere. And then you go back to your home base with all your gear and then you could reload out with like heavier guys and go somewhere else. That would really feel like a full proper company, you know? It, it, like that's kind of more like Wolf's Dragoon-ish kind of thing where it's like you own a whole bunch of stuff. End goals, people if the uh, Rogue Tech people are listening. End goals. You could probably do it because, like, I know you've, they've segmented the bays, right? So you've got your battle armor bays, you've got your vehicle bays, you've got your mech bays. You could have what's called your home base bays with assembled mechs that would just that just sit there. I know it, it's it's iffy on the cost then, like how do you balance out being able to manage your entire um, your entire unit when you've got those mechs in that bay? But maybe the mechs assembled in that bay don't cost anything. You. And as kind of quote unquote unrealistic as that sounds, you could also offset it by saying, well, no, the price that you're charging um, for your services technically includes the price to cover those mechs that are just sitting in storage on your home planet or whatever it is. Or maybe you've got X amount of planetary hold holdings that generate X amount of cash that just keeps that at net zero, so you don't make any money. Um, any money that you make from the units that you send out is that you're operating flush cash, right? So, and that covers your cost of like being able to go out and perform missions. Orders. I think that would be cool, especially for people who want to play like longer, have more engagements. Cause I, like, I do like the company building aspect of this. Let's bring you. Come on. You can do it. At some point, you can do it. I know you can. Uh, let's pull into here. Let's pull into here. What do you got? That's not bad. If we miss, we could hit you. That's pretty low. Thunderbolt pack. 31 of that guy. Um. No, Ostrock's kind of in my way. Let's just shoot this guy, I think. Roger that. Nice. Ah, a couple of shots. Actually hit the medium laser and the guy in the back. Beautiful. It's a lifeboat for you, though. Completely reliable. Now that I said that, he'll probably die. I was just expecting that to be a headshot. <laughs> I was just expecting to hear the gargle. <laughs> it's just kind of how my life goes. For those of you, I mean, for those of you that have been kind of with me since the beginning or watching my my uh, rogue tech fighting, that's kind of how it goes. I open my mouth and then well, bad shit bad. happens. How bad could it really be? You're about to find out. Because fuck you. Mm. Uh, barbecued ghost, anybody? Let's wait a turn. I gotta shoot that plasma cannon again on, on those little kobolds and shit first, so I don't want to accidentally splash over onto this guy. I gotta start playing smarter. I've been like, kind of just going for the past little bit. So I gotta start playing a little smarter, I think. Let's go with the quad missiles on this guy though. Let's get some damage going on him if we can. Firing. Ooh, they landed, nice. Oof. Have a seat, buddy. Scored a critical hit. Oh, don't, just I'm stay there. 
That's alright though, it was good damage. Good damage and it was fun. What's up everybody? Cover my guys with the AMS. And let's uh, just give it to this guy. Knowledge. Reporting critical hit. And then there was one. Oop, am I overheating? Oh, is it misfire? Plasma cannon misfires. It's okay, I got a backup. I gotta say, this playthrough's been um, nice and interesting because I gain certain things and I don't really encounter them again and I, and I lose them and then I get new stuff and I get to use that and then I lose that. <laughs> you know, so I try to have spares wherever I can, but it doesn't often work out. But it's nice to be able to just kind of like vary up stuff. I gotta change the armor on this Reporting. guy if I can. Animal damage. To re get the armor reducing the ballistic protection, whatever it is that, that what that armor. Oh, there's the rabbit guy. Oh, you fuck the guy's got that. We can't close now. Twelve from twelve. So I like to see. Too bad the heavy lance couldn't pull the same thing off a couple battles ago. That's all right though. We did shred that. The double LRM turret early. If that thing was unleashed on us, that we all if that if I left that LRM turret, we would have lost that battle. They would have just kept shooting. I mean, we, just, we, we would we we would have. I'm convinced we would have lost go. that battle. All right, well, fuck this rabid coyote. Maybe not. Yeah, see the tandems jam, right? That's just it's frustrating as hell. Um, do we want to go? I mean, the enemy is coming to us, so I don't really need to, like, kind of go after them. I can just kind of stay here. Let's move into here. Location confirmed. So we can do this Ost Ostrock. I'm going to drop some, uh, all our shit on them. And we'll fight from, from re like, positions at the back. Just drop all this shit on this guy, because fuck him. Fire it on rear arc. I got no ammo and multiple weapons. That's all right. We'll fly you out next turn and then you can hope. Holy shit, that almost hit me too. We'll fly you out next turn and then hopefully you can get those uh, MRMs unjammed. Oh, someone's got a pair of Mirdrins. They're banging 12 damage. Armor. Is that 5 or 10s? Mirdrin 10s? Maybe? Yes, Commander. It's not rotaries, I don't think. Yeah, we're not closing, so don't not, don't worry about the closing. Let's just back up then. We don't need to go get in there. Right? What's the point of getting too close to these guys? This guy's just going to shut us if we do. So we'll back up here. Confirmed. We're good. Yeah, all right. And we still got the the sledgehammer. Hopefully we can get a kill on this guy. I'm gonna throw the rockets up, maybe get lucky and get some crits on this guy. Locking on target. Nope. That was garbage. I'm out of short range missiles. He's just getting used to the new Mac, that's all. I'll show you how it's done in a second here. There's 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 a trick. There's a trick to getting that guy. I'll show you. It's um, yeah. It's a it's a. A lot of people don't know this. It's it's really really wow. unique kind of way to do it. Is you kind of move in like this, right? And then you point your weapon at them like this, and then you load up all of this stuff like this. Because I mean, everybody's got these, right? You just load these up. Just throw them on. Don't be afraid to do it. And then just fire. Here we go. See that works every time, right? Just in case you're wondering what you need to do, there you go. Cause fuck them, right? I still alive. Damn it! That looked all out of short range missiles. Come on, pass out. Pass out and make me look good. Well, at least he's wounded. Orders? That could never have worked for me. You guys know that? That could never have worked. Fuck him. 
Double time. Let's go. Fuck em. What's up, yo? Here we go. Come on. There Target you go. Down. Core meltdown. Standing by. Somebody's a little hot. I got Maybe I should cycle a plasma cannon this one off this turn. Fuck this guy. Oh wait, is that Cobalt still alive? I don't think he is. Didn't he get didn't he die from like splash effects? Yeah, he's dead from splash effects. He overheated. Fuck him. Shoot this guy. Standing by. Not doing so well, nothing. Not doing so well, nothing. Okay, come around here. Gonna shoot the Ostrock with the ferret. I'm bringing both the ferret and the um, Pegasus into backstrike range of this coyote because I don't want him uh, going after my mechs. Although now that there's a good chance I could lose vehicles too, it's like you don't want to use them as a sacrificial lamb either because I don't have very many of them, right? It's like I can I can rebuild the mechs. I can't necessarily rebuild the vehicles if I lose a part. So they're almost more valuable at this point. Yeah, thanks for being there. Okay. I'm here. Bah. Look, I brought rockets to a rocket fight. Ooh, nice shot. Bar B Q. Somebody's having a bad day. And it ain't me. Well, not yet, anyway. I'm sure that'll change very shortly. Ooh, maybe we can get the Afrit with the tandems against the, uh, the copters. I'm being flanked. Let him flank you. You got lots of armor. If he's just gonna shoot you with machine guns, don't worry about it. He's standing in the water. It makes it easy for me to see you now. We'll take care of him. We'll take care of him. 59A. Look at that. It's almost like being on the moon. Standing by. But as you guys know, no one ever went to the moon. It's just not possible. Wait, that's from... Oh, them. I don't even know, like... You know, it's strange. When I first saw... Moving out. Like when I was a lot younger and I first saw the people saying, oh, we never went to the moon and here's why. And they showed us, showed all these reasons. It's like, oh shit, that actually looks like it's a plausible theory. And I looked into it more, I'm like, no, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't hold water. Firing on it's target. so broken and so wrong. It's just because they don't have any fundamental understanding of how that was actually done. Reporting critical hit. It's like, yeah, I, I, you don't have a leg to stand on. It's just not even a thing. I don't even know how people still think that that can't be done. It's like, yeah, the, the computers back then, oh, they might not be able to do it. It's like, no, the fucking people and the math did it. Receiving you. Right? That's what did it. A lot of fucking smart people doing a lot of incredible things is what it was. Ooh, I hate shooting this guy in the front, but uh, you know what? Nah, it's not even... Sure. Got it. Normally I'm aggressive, but I don't have to be in this one, so let's not. Let's not and say we did. Screw you! Come on, bail out, buddy. Oh, head hit. Nice. Like that. Oh, that was from the torso going off, I think. Right? Pretty sure that's what it was. I don't often get lucky when I'm aiming for the head. 
But I guess having the uh, p -p 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 pulse. If you're gonna do that and go for the head, I think it might be better to not have a pilot with clustering, right? You're probably better off not having any clustering at all. Because if you don't hit the head, and like let's say you hit a leg, it's gonna cluster around the leg rather than randomly hitting, like having a chance to hit the head. Well, this guy's like got nothing right now. Well, we might be able to kill him with the tandems. Let's just see if we can get through. Nope. Spread it around, buddy. Spread it around. Back you up. You got it. I know we got a guy behind us, but I'm not that worried about him at the moment. Headshot. I'm on him. There we go. Reporting. Beautiful. Bail out before you die. I'm here. Now, um can't shoot you with plasma cannons. Well, plasma rifle will do it, which is weird. I guess because the plasma cannon's AoE, it won't let me do it. That's probably the reason. Acknowledged. Because you're technically... Although you'd think, though, if it's AoE, it lands in one spot and then just spreads the damage. It doesn't, like... Oh, maybe it's because it's a plasma cannon, it applies it across, like, a wide area? I don't even know. That's a pretty good chance to hit there. But let's slow this guy down if we can. Plasma rifle hit, looks like. No. Uh, can you heat up this rabid, rabid guy? Rabid, rabid here. Rabid, rabid. Copy. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. That's uh, the last chance to heat him up, but we'll fire everything. I like them apples. All out of SRMs. That's cool. Now you can use that pirate AC to do, like, heat damage. Yeah, you run. He knows it's not a good idea to hang around. Yep. He knows. He sees what he's up against. Copy that. Just do some damage to this guy here. Yeah, I'm not really... Th I mean... Get on the end, I get on the end of that uh, receiving end of those um, those melee max. It's not a good time, but uh, oof, that's terrible. But I'm not really a big fan of rolling the melee guys myself. Mm, can we get into a better position? Like maybe that's not better. Not that much better. Can we get a solid? There we can go. There we go. That guy's got a chance for backstrike on us, but I can't do much about it. Just get into AMS and ECM range and hope for the best here. Engaging target. Shouldn't have fired the thunderbolt, but it did land. So I don't feel so bad now. I'm out of LRM. He's tagged. Unstable. How's that heat? How's that heat helping you? Yeah, Commander. Um, let's not be stupid like I was in the past and sit still. Let's go on this side. Position confirmed. I don't know how much I've got available here to fire at this guy. Oh, all the tandems are up. Let's use them. Taking a lot of internal damage, but it's not getting, not getting the job done. I thought within 15 internal structure we would at least have something taken down by now. Well, down to three. On the front end. One more. One more salvo should do it. I'm receiving you. Christ, this guy's just not even moving. He's just standing here. Fire it. He's got the armor. There's no reason to move. Look at that. 61 more heat. Yeah, come on back. 
down to a more reasonable height so I can actually target you. He's not doing... I wonder if his LRMs are bust. No? LRM 10 and SRM 2, he's, he's fine, but he's just not engaging. This guy knows he's in trouble. Ready for orders. No point in moving. I got enough armor to absorb this guy's hit, so it's not a big deal. I'm hoping to apply enough pressure that he bails so we can get some electronics out of him, but I guess if he bails, we're not really getting electronics, are we? Aye, aye. Let's give it to him. Wow, it's terrible. She's just learning the new mech, though, so... Sorry, she's learning a mech because it's the first time she's been in a battle. Where are you going? Orders? Can you, uh... Put some nasty on that some bitch? Okay, just sit still. He's not gonna... It doesn't have the juice to get to you. All wet. Go. Doesn't have the juice to get to you. Well, someone's taking some headshots next turn. Hey. All right. Well, um, that guy shut down. This guy's out of range. How do I get him in range? Oh yeah, moving closer. That would work, wouldn't it? I know this puts me in close proximity to this rabbit coyote, but all he can do is start up this turn, so... Or next turn, I mean. Not a big deal. Let's just start engaging these guys Hi. back here. Of course, I missed. Yeah, we're all missing, so don't uh, feel bad. You're just dragging the battle out like the rest of us. Where is this guy going? That's a hover, too. Yes, Commander. What do you? What is this guy in range of? AC two, eh? That's it, huh? So if we get up here, all right. Does that just put us in range? No, it still doesn't put us in range. That's garbage. Uh, let's leave this off because our guy's down there. Let's fire the rest of this. He's hot enough as it is anyway. Another 63 heat. Scarred a critical hit. Although it didn't raise his heat bar in any way. Standing by. What do you think, buddy? Headshots? You can do it, right? Confirm. Fire. Well, whatever. He's dead, that's all that matters. Hostile removed. Standing by. That he is. Where's this copter? Here we go. Gonna move. Moving out. Towards the enemy too. I think as long as we don't sprint, these tandems shouldn't jam too much. It's the sprinting I think that causes a lot of the problems. Yeah. I don't know what's more dangerous, like the, the tandems or just like acid ammo and stripping all the armor off first or like blowing through to internals. I mean, against vehicles, it's obviously better because the vehicles have so little internal structure, but against mechs, unless they've got like a lot of ammo or things like that, I don't know. It's really situational, I guess. Like anything in this world. It's all situational. Might as well take a shot at that guy while we move in. At like what? One percent? Oh, 0.9. We'll take that shot. Okay. And it's jammed. Because of course it is. Because fuck me. Where are you going? Are you gonna make me chase you down? Confirm. Make me chase him. Like I said before, 
Got I don't... My eyes gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. I don't mind vehicles running. As long as they can flee the map board. Waiting for orders. If they can't actually flee the map board, then it's just... It's a frustrating mechanic that they're running away. Because they're just not go they're not going anywhere, right? They're just evading you for X Perch. amount of turns. Really, I guess. Is that the tag on? It was. What do you know? What do you know? Like if they could actually like flee the battlefield when they're panicked. Receiving you. Totally worth it. And it's only because it's basically denying you salvage, right? Let's go. So if you don't kill them quickly, then you've lost the salvage. That's where the balance would be, right? The fact that you're not fighting them is not a big deal, but... Roger. Well. Receiving you. Lack of being able to hit is working in my favor this time. Um, do we go against that guy? <sighs> Probably. I can't get over there, so let's go this way. Throttle down. Throttle down, baby. Waiting for orders. All right, mobile turret. Who are we shooting? This guy. Sure. Roger that. Target confirmed. Hey, two heat, beautiful. Can't say I'm not helping out. Well, thanks for showing up. You're not defeating. You're not going to defeat that evasion, though. What? No. That's that 0.9% chance to hit. That I just oh so love to have on my part. All right, let's get over here. Shooting a griffin. Shooting a griffin. That's interesting. It stayed active, but it says jam. Interesting. Usually it's just read it out. Where are you off to? Apparently nowhere. And you don't have a turret. Waiting for orders. So you're not having a good day. No turret equals death. I love how the birds flap out of the trees too. It's little things like that about this game that I really enjoy. It's little little attentions to detail that they put in. Ready for orders. Now, I know it's the source game too, it's not the Rogue Tech people. I don't think that they did that. It's like source game, but I love it when, you know, game developers do that. They add those little attentions to details that most people don't necessarily pick out right away, but they're just there. They just add to the atmosphere into the immersion. It's cool. Tags on again. Beautiful. Keep chasing him. Coming back up here, are you? I mean, is that what this guy's trying to do? Is just jam us with ECM? Or is he just confused? Probably just confused. God, the speed of these vehicles sometimes. Just flat out, just... Like, especially the hover vehicles. Just makes them so dangerous in open terrain. I mean, we don't have the best chance to hit with this guy. But still... The speed makes it almost impossible to hit. Ready for orders. Um... Yeah, I'll just get a back shot in this guy. Moving to position. It'll probably go from 0.9 to 1.2% chance, but whatever. Take whatever we can get. Oh, 14 with the streak. That's not bad. Confirmed. But that it helps. <sighs> no luck. You. I'm here. Is that guy? In, I think he's in ping range. Move Let's ping him. Received. See if that helps. Set 
Sensors locked on. Yeah, that might help. That'll hopefully get it done quicker. This guy's going first. Oh, these guys both go first. Oh, we got guys on 21 as well. Wait, what are you on? 20, 22, okay. Hopefully this storm crow can just pivot and kill this guy. Commander. Oh, you don't even need to pivot. He just flew right back into your into your sight. Ah, marginally better. Firing on rear heart. Actually not really. I think it's just his speed. Speed and height. Are you coming down to fight? Excellent. We got a battle going on here. Can you uh, do me a favor? You know what I want. I want you to inflict some nasty on this son bitch. Actually, we need to do this because we got to get out of here next turn. Oh, uh, LRM 20s down too. It's LRM 20s down. Yeah, Midrans. That might actually be a good vehicle to grab okay, if we can. You can cut it out now. Hey. Advancing, I guess. So the AC five is still jammed. Is that a perma jam? Is it a def jam? Get it? Baha. Let's just fire at this guy. Before my jokes get too too bad. Or is that a misfire thing? Gets to a certain point and then it's just like, eh. Could be. Okay, Duke. Duke it out with this guy. Eh, not bad. Jesus. I'm gonna be here forever. Waiting for orders. Go like this, we'll engage whoever is the easiest target. So you are 12, 10, and 24. Oh, that's pretty good, 67. Take this guy. Take this guy. Little bit of damage. Uh, Commander? You know the score. It's the hardcore, you know the score. Hardcore, you know the score. My wife and I were talking about our old club days and how, like, things have changed in today's atmosphere. Young people just don't have the same amount of money as we, like, disposable income as we had when we were younger, which is why clubs are suffering now, too. Like, they're, like, really suffering because it's, they just don't have the uh, number of people showing up, right? Um, do I want to move? I mean, I probably should, or this guy's gonna blast me one. Let's just get around here. You. Yeah, so it's just like, because I mean, the cost to get, like, the cover charge to get in, you know, um, copy that. And then the cost of drinks and everything is just so prohibitive, and people just aren't. Should have hit. So the, the amount of money that you're being paid today versus what you were being paid in the past is like way higher. But the cost of living today has gone up so much higher that your money doesn't go as far as it used to, which is why a lot of people just aren't going. Like, why would you drop a hundred bucks or 150 bucks to go to a club when you can just stay in and bring invite friends over, right? Like, and you know, Ontario, you just like, you know, go to a local cannabis store and pick up yourself some weed and enjoy the uh, the weekend. You know, chill out at home. No. You know, there's no need to go to your friend's place and get high before going out to a club. It just doesn't exist anymore. Why is okay. that still Let's jammed? Go. It's got to be a pirate AC thing. We 
Recoil times 10, mitigated by gunner, recoil reduction. Huh. Well, I don't know. Engaging. We'll leave it off and keep engaging this guy. Hopefully he draws IR away from my vehicles. Receiving you. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but... It is in fact the case. At least this guy keeps giving us his ass. Makes it, it makes him slightly easier to hit. Target lock on enemy six. At least we keep, keep hitting with that tag. It'll be hilarious if we act, end up killing him with a tag. I've tried that in the past, like legging mechs down to one hit point and then just try and take their leg off with a tag. Killed by tag. Good to go. Where'd that vehicle go? He's trying to run. Keep shooting him from the same side, please. I want him gone. This guy can do the most amount of damage currently, so let's uh, just make his day bad. How are we doing here? Oh, it's on this, so it's this side. We need to hit five more. Well, no. Oh, he's got rotary AC2s. Oh! Well, that's interesting. Ready for orders. They're rotary AC2s. Well, well, well. Greater chance for jam, but way more shots, that's for sure. Locked on? We're on. We ain't locked on shit. Nothing. I think the uh, the cliff face is uh, interfering yes, with your commander. targeting. Well, the AC2 is in range. Can we get... Let's start going. Moving at full throttle. Not even gonna bother about the uh, the aircraft. Copy that. Hey, nice. Landing a few shots on him. Yes, come out and play. Now I'm gonna back up because he's gonna. Charge me and knock my ass down. You watch. For now. You just watch. Yes, yeah, keep going through there. Makes you slightly harder to hit, yes, but every time I do hit you, it hits you a lot harder. Uh, let's reserve you. Let that aircraft go first and come Wait down off that buddy. hill, and then we'll target him when he gets lower when we have a better chance to hit him. Are you going to engage, or are you just going to, like... I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Ah, whatever. I'm receiving you. Alright, Moxie. Let's get around and get on this, uh... Griffin. Confirm. I think he's in barbecue range now. He certainly is. Let's give it to him, then. Fifty heat. I'm here. Moving to position. Let's make them work for it. Oh, pirates! On, okay, it's unjammed now. And I think it's just my my pilot's gunnery skill wasn't high enough to unjam it, so. That's, fine. Right. that's probably the case. Orders. Just that it, normally when it's jammed, like I said, it turns red, right? So it's like. I was a little bit confused as to what was going on. Oh, not not you. You get down here. Location confirmed. Just stay far enough away that the plasma cannon won't hit you. Get on this guy. I got a few SRMs left. I'm on him. Few a few SRMs never hurt anybody except for maybe this guy. Standing by. All right, Duke. Let's duke it out with this guy. Position confirmed. Clear the minefield on the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Putting one in the back. Are you? Oh, there's two in the back. Oh, five in the back. Finally got some exposed structure. Orders. Mm, AC5's got a minimum range, so let's not go 
too close. That's slightly better. I Went from 11 to 13 percent. Look at that. Living it high on the wait on the chance to hit now. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Yeah, I missed with the tag. Damn it. It's like three turns in a row you hit with that thing, and now Hold you can't up. hit with it. Receiving you. Come on, finish this vehicle off. Crying out loud. On my way. God, this thing is dragging. Oh shoot! Commander, I'm wounded. The jet. Ah, oh, fuck! I keep forgetting to turn that thing off. Engaging with target. I, you know, totally missed. Damn it. Should be off by default, but whatever. For sorry, for me it should be off by default. Because I'm an idiot. Standing by. Griffin finally realizing he's going to die unless he does something. Locked on, rear armor. Oh, tag's back on him again. Come on, buddy. Do something. Yep. You know what you need to do. Um, I know there's flames in the way, but we're going to take it. Let's finish this up. Four more. All wet. Go. Reporting. Critical hit. My SRMs are out. Okay. Yeah, this is a jet booster error. Don't even move. Wow. 8%, huh? Happy. Whatever. Hey. God, this is so bad. There. Okay. Well, at least there's Speak good chances head. to hit. Nice. Just gonna speed through this now. Alright, well. Oof, plasma landed right in front of him. Receiving you. Alright, buddy. I don't know. Heading out. Hopefully those streaks land. Roger. Nope. Couple points. This is brutal. Thank you for switching targets. Much appreciated. How is it that their initiative is going way up and mine's gone like, like nowhere? These guys just keep getting faster and faster. Ready for orders. All right. Well, at least he's back again. Target mark on Finally. Hostile removed. Finally. Commander. There we go. Coordinates received. Oh, come on. I think I'm on the wrong side, though. Roger. Just die. Where did he go? Confirm. Oh, way back there. No solid green here anywhere, huh? No solid green. But let's move over here then. Hopefully it'll be out of the way of the plasma cannon if I miss. That's a pretty good chance to hit. Ten four. A shot. Beautiful. I'm here. 
advancing, I guess. Okay, I still got rack two, on. so gotta be careful. You might as well just stay there. Venting heat. Push as far as we can go. Maybe we can get a lucky Dropping. shot off at that guy. I don't know. Drop some heat here. What now? Come on. Protect yourself a little bit. Here he comes. Nope, apparently not. Yep. Um. Copy that. Okay, can you move this way? Going full throttle. I'm gonna see if I can get around on the hill over here. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Oh boy. Ready for orders. Roger. Oh, what's up, boss? All right, can you just finish this guy, please? Okay, this is the correct side now, I think. We got all three of the tubes up. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Doesn't have much left, I don't think, internally on the one side. Six. Firing. Finally. Christ, let's go home. I hope we can salvage that. Yeah, me too. That would kind of be a nice vehicle to replace the Mars then. Mission successful. Well, they were definitely outclassed, 900,000. Well, that's good. Yeah, that was my mistake. The Defreet, it's, I mean, it's not, I don't think it's as powerful as the last one we had, but it wasn't too bad. So this is the Tamron Abbey. We get four rep. What do you want to give us? Core 11, 300 cores? I'm not taking these mech parts anyway, so let's grab the 300 cores. We might get a couple of them. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll take that. I'm fine with that. We want the vehicle parts anyway, I think. Cavalry, no. There's only two of them. We don't have anything compatible. Nothing compatible there. Yellow jackets, nope. So what do we have down here for stuff? Large pulse lasers. Case two, which I think we've still got a bunch of. We only got one left. Com suites are actually pretty good. It could help us out. Uh, I'm gonna throw it in be because we don't have a lot of cockpits. Like, like I don't even think we have any. And these have been like I I had two of these and I they did just went into max because I had nothing else to put in. So the increased resolve gain and tactics will help with initiative. Um, so there's all the cores they gave us. Any double heatsink kits? I got a bunch of these things too. Oh, I got one of those. None of those. Okay. Thought I had more. Uh, we could sell that for C bills. Guardian ECM. Got one. So we're okay. Double heatsink kits. Fuck it. I'm taking them both. Night vision is okay. Patchwork tier threes are okay. But the double heat sink kits, I, I just have to have those. And the comp suit. We'll just take that. Alright, we got two cavalry, one ghost piece, a pair of large pulse lasers. How many do we have? Four? So we can just probably sell these two. Case, we've got a lot of. Just sell it. Comp suit we're keeping. Endo steel, we're good on. Piloting support eight definitely want that. So yeah, that's um, I guess that's okay. Yeah, eighty three thousand. It's a lot more than I thought, but some of our mechs are actually pricey to repair, so that's not bad. So we are over five million now. So we got three million to play with to build stuff with, and I could probably squeak out. I know we have a couple of XL engines I could probably just sell, and I think we've got a couple of Clan XLs. Which I might, I, I'll keep one I think, it's just for me it's too, I, they're nice to put in but they're too cost prohibitive at the moment. So I might sell a couple of them and then rebuild what we have. I'm going to stay here one day to see if we can pick up any pilots or any good missions. If that's the case we'll stay. If not, I'm going to look for a planet that I can pick up some optics in. Because I know there's a planet in the Marian Hegemony that's got... Um, that sells them because when we first started off there was a planet I picked up a couple things on 
Uh, I don't know. I think I picked up on Optics 1, and I think I know I picked up, um, like, Enhanced, um, uh, what's it called? Ah, I can't remember. Um, but uh, it's like a range finder. But anyway, I I know there was a, there's a planet somewhere around here. I might jump over there and see if I can pick up some of those, because we're definitely lacking on that right now across all three lances, unfortunately. So... Um, it might mean me having to beg, borrow, and steal between the lances to get things to work right. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop your comments in the comment section down below and check out that quick sell site. And until next time, we'll see you later.